Hey guys, this is Demon Angel here. We have Apex up tonight, and I wanted to do a little bit of something for you guys so that way you are aware of what legends are available. Um, so let's go ahead and jump into it. We do have eight different legends. When you first start this game, two of them are going to be locked. As you see here, I have not unlocked them yet. Um, I have played several matches. Um, I believe I'm level seven right now. Um, the way you unlock these is through in-game currency, or you can actually go to the store and buy Apex packs or Apex coins, which is the in-game currency here. Um, but what I wanted to go over is each individual character, each individual legend, and have it opened up on the screen so that you guys are aware of the abilities of each particular legend. So let's go ahead and start off with my favorite character, which is the Wraith. The Wraith has a passive ability called Voices from the Void. And it basically allows you to hear a voice when danger approaches. As far as you can tell, it's on your side. So what this does is when enemy players are around you, it's going to come in through the sound and it's going to say, hey, there's danger around, be careful. So it gives you a little bit of a heads up, gives you an advantage over everybody else, um, especially if you're not really paying attention to your surroundings, which you should be doing in this type of game. For the tactical, you have Into the Void, which allows you to reposition quickly through the safety of the void space, avoiding all damage. So basically what this does for you um, is basically what it says. Um, you can run a lot faster. Um, you are cloaked, if you will, and it allows you to quickly get away from harm. The ultimate ability is a dimensional rift. This is really kind of a cool um, ability. It allows you to open up two portals um, that your squad members can pass through. Now, you have to be very careful with this because enemies can also pass through this rift as well. Um, so you have to be very careful in your placement. Let's go ahead and move up to the Bloodhound. It's passive as a tracker. So this allows you to track your, your, your enemies. Um, it says here that foes leave behind clues for you to find. Its tactical ability is Eye of the Allfather. It briefly reveals enemies, traps, and clues through all structures in front of you. And its ultimate ability is Beast of the Hunt. Transform into the ultimate hunter enhances your senses allowing you to see cold tracks and move faster Let's go ahead and move on to the Gibral altar. It's kind of a hard name to pronounce um, This is the tank of the game. So it's passive is a gun shield Aiming down sights deploys a gun shield that blocks incoming fire. This is a very useful tactic especially if you are trying to shield your your squad mates against enemy fire while laying down cover fire for them his tactical advantage has dome of protection it allows you to throw down a dome shield that blocks attacks for 15 seconds i have used this this is very useful especially if you're respawning um, your squad um, or getting someone to come in from a drop ship and its ultimate ability is defensive bombardment Call in a consecrated mortar strike on a position you mark with smoke. Let's move on to Bangalore. Oop. Its passive ability is double time. When you are take while taking fire while sprinting makes you move faster for a brief time. So that's pretty self-explanatory. When you are under fire, when you are taking damage or people are shooting at you, you can run faster. I don't think that allows you to run faster than bullets, so no, don't ask. Its tactical ability is a smoke launcher. Fire a high-velocity smoke canister that explodes into a smoke wall on impact. That's pretty awesome. I can honestly say, when fighting these, it's pretty difficult to catch up with them after they fire this off because there is a ton of smoke that just goes everywhere and its ultimate ability is rolling thunder call in an artillery strike that slowly creeps across the landscape this is a pretty devastating ability 
Um, I can honestly say this is probably one of my favorites because when people are in buildings, especially smaller ones, they think that they're taking cover, but if you actually bombard that building with this ultimate ability, sometimes you're lucky enough to get a kill. All right, let's move on to the healer spec, which is Lifeline. What a fitting name for this one. Its passive ability, of course, is Combat Medic. Revive knockdown teammates faster while protected by a shield wall. Healing items are used 25% faster. If you've used any healing items in this game while not playing Lifeline, you know that it takes quite a long time, really, to heal yourself. Its tactical ability is DOC Heal Drone. The Drone of Compassion automatically heals those near it over time. This is a pretty useful one, especially if you've just revived a teammate. Um, the teammate will be able to go up to this drone and be healed. Its ultimate ability is a care package, calling a dropped full of high quality defensive gear. Let's go ahead and grab the other healer spec here and we'll do the two locked ones separately. So we'll go ahead and click on Pathfinder and its passive ability is Insider Knowledge. Scan a survey beacon to reveal the ring's next location. That's kind of a neat one. Um, this one actually allows you to be more preemptive on your movement throughout the map. Um, so that way you can place your your bets on where you want to go. Um, if you get caught outside of the ring, you are going to take some damage. It's not a lot, but it is enough to make you want to get out of there because if you stay, you will be killed. His tactical ability is a grappling hook. Grapple to get out of reach places quickly. I have not used this one yet, but that does sound pretty amazing. I can definitely think of some times when that would be very useful. And its ultimate ability is a zipline gun. Creates a zipline for everyone to use. I have seen this in uh, play before, and it is pretty spectacular. You'll have to try it out for yourself. All right, on to the two locked characters, or the two locked legends. Okay, let's start with Caustic, who is a toxic trapper. His passive ability is Nox Vision. You gain threat vision on enemies moving through your gas. So this corresponds with his tactical ability, Nox Gas Trap, which allows him to place up to six canisters that release deadly Nox gas when shot or triggered by enemies. So this is going to damage everybody else except for you. So you can move through your own stuff. And of course, his ultimate ability is also going to be gas, right? Nox Gas Grenade. You get to blanket a large area in Nox Gas. Let's go ahead and take a look at him. He does look like he's got several rebreathers on there. And that big canister. I'm sure that's full of some really nasty, potent stuff. All right, let's move on to Mirage. So Mirage is a holographic trickster. So his passive ability is Encore automatically drop a decoy and cloak for five seconds when knocked down. This would be very helpful. So this would, if you get knocked down, especially from a medium range or a long range, this would allow you to get cloaked and move out of harm's way. Um, you know, if you're up close, I don't know how effective that's really going to be. I have not honestly seen this character in play yet. Um, however, I could definitely see that being pretty useful. Its tactical ability is Psych Out. Send out a holographic decoy to confuse the enemy. That would be pretty sweet. I could honestly say I would love to try out this character, and this will probably be the one that I unlock first uh, when I do get enough credits to actually unlock one of these. Um, I do like the ability to divert people off to other areas while I'm flanking them. Um, this would be a very fun character play. And his ultimate ability is Vanishing Act. So Mirage will deploy an entire team of decoys to distract enemies while he cloaks. Wow, that would be pretty cool to see. I can't wait. Hey guys, it's been good. You know what to do. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you next time.